Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Alicia and today is kind of like a follow-up from, from one of my beginning videos because as you guys know, I was like going on this journey and I wanted to get into a more creative role. I am still doing, you know, of course my nursing job and FYI, I started my new contract, which is an outpatient um, position, which I am so just like super excited about. Today was day one, but that's besides the topic because after a week, I'll probably make a video and just update you guys and let you guys how, how that's going. But anyway, today I kind of wanted to focus on how it's been going with the creative role with making content, the videos, just like tying in my experiences along with how I experience my human design specifically. And I was like watching one of my earlier videos. And I remember like saying, you know, like I was just kind of like procrastinating, procrastinating a lot, or I wasn't taking much action. You know, there was some laziness that, you know, I was like recognizing in myself. So I remember in one of my videos, I specifically mentioned that I was going to start waking up at 6 a.m. every day before I started this contract, 6 a.m. every day to like <clears throat> get kind of like get the ball moving to like start moving my hands and feet and taking action. I did start taking more action. I did start creating more. I did start, you know, having more ideas come to me because I started jotting my ideas down. However, the whole 6 a.m. thing, we're just going to throw that out the window. It was a complete flop. It did not work out for me. In fact, I tr I had printed out like a time blocking sheet because I was like, okay, let's see if I can like time block at, you know, maybe 10 a.m. I'm going to do this, uh, 12 p.m. I'm going to do this. And it just did not work for me. And it's going to bring me around what I'm going to talk about today, which is variables in human design, which pretty much, those are the top four arrows. You got two arrows on the left and you got two arrows on the right of your human design chart. And it pretty much will suggest how we as human beings optimize in our bodily functions with the way we use our body. And then also the, um, the right, the arrows on the right side is more of like how we perceive the world. And um, it's it's all about like using our mind. So um, the top left arrow is what I want to talk about today. And that arrow represents how um, the top left arrow best represents how we take in information, how we like absorb information, and also how we take in and absorb food um, and how we process food or how we process information. And for me personally, you know, all my arrows, they're like facing right, which pretty much suggests that I am somebody that is kind of like more flowy. It's more in the flow. It's more receptive. It is not, you know, very, it's not taking this like very linear approach. It is not all about like being super rigid or super structured. It's kind of like, think of it as like, kind of like, what feels right and it just makes so much sense because whenever I try to do something very rigid like that like force myself to wake up at a certain time every day unless I'm like going to work because of course that's like mandatory like I have to be at work by a certain time but if it's like on a day-to-day -day basis because I just had almost like four it was like going on four months off not quite four but you know if I think about just like how my typical day is. I mean, honestly, some days I could wake up at 6 a.m. in the morning, just like randomly. Some days I could wake up at 9 a.m. Some days it's 8 a.m. It's kind of just like what feels right for me. And um, so I don't really have a structure or a schedule. I don't really set an alarm clock unless I am, you know, in a contract for work. So of course, with my current contract that I just started. By the way, yes, I have an, by just like side note, I am now working an outpatient nursing job. I'm just so excited about it. Today was my first day, you know, um, just like in, in the clinic. So today was my first day in the clinic, Monday and Tuesday, today's Wednesday, by the way. 
Um, so I don't know when I upload this video, it may be, I don't know, a different week or something, but Monday and Tuesday was for the modules. And then today is Wednesday. So I physically went into the clinic. So, um, I'm just super excited. Maybe after I've worked like a week or two, I'll make another video about what that experience is like, because I have never worked like in a clinic before. So this is totally something new and I'm just, oh, I'm just so excited. So they're still like training me there in the clinic anyway. So when I go to work, of course, that's going to be like waking up at a specific time to be there at 8 a.m. in the morning because it's like I'm going to work. But um, if I think about how I was during the four months that I was off, honestly, my wake up schedule varied. And it also varied on because I was doing Pilates as well. So I have a Pilates um, studio that I go to when I was back in Dallas. And even those like schedules are just they're kind of just like flowy. There may be a, a like a Pilates class I might go to at 7 a.m. Sometimes it's 8, 9, 10, 11. Um, maybe on rare occasions, it's like 6 a.m. So there really is no structure to like the scheduling of my workouts. Even if I don't go to Pilates, it kind of just depends on how I feel feel and even like when I'm scheduling my Pilates class like the day before I'm just like how do I feel do I feel like going to a class around that time I don't know it's crazy that you know I have to it's like I literally go by the way that I feel so I'm just very flowy and then um if we want to tie it in also to like how I take in food it works the same exact way so it's not like I knew about all of these things um, you know, it's not like I just knew these things with human design, human design kind of like made me more aware of like what feels more natural to me. I guess it, it was, it became like they articulated it, like they put it into words, something that I, like I already maybe subconsciously knew about myself, but it's not something that like, I was like, oh, I'm this, 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 this way. It's like, it brought it into my awareness and it was just like, oh my God, I am that way. So when I take in food, I remember trying before to like do this whole meal plan thing because at one point in like, cause at one point I, I like my weight can like yo-yo. So like when I'm gaining weight sometimes, I remember trying to do this whole meal plan thing because of course I had seen other people do it before. So I was like, oh, let me try this whole meal plan thing. I see their whole like whole wheat containers, like seven containers. And I was like, wow, you know, that seems really cool. And I remember trying this. I want to say oh, this is when I used to like work back in Los Angeles. <laughs> I remember this girl I used to work to. She was so super like just like very strategic and she was so structured and she like brought her meals in the same meal every single day. And she was like super fit and she inspired me. And I was like, okay, let me try it. And you guys, I tried like that whole, it was like grilled chicken with broccoli. And I think it was like a little bit of rice that I would have sometime. I tried it and I made it for like seven days. And I like I just wanted to throw up. I was like, I can't eat this every day. And if I honestly think about the way that I like I cook or when I prepare things, when I prepare meals, I honestly don't even want to make more than two days at a time, maybe at most three. But if I make food longer than that, longer than three days, I end up tossing it. It's like I don't want to eat it anymore because I'm just sick of it. And um, so I, I do better just eating by like what feels right for me. Even when I eat my breakfast, I never eat my breakfast at the same time every day. It kind of just depends. And then sometimes I'll go through these periods also where I'll do intermittent fasting. I'm just very, basically what I'm trying to say is I'm very fluid. I am not meant to be super strategic, structured, rigid, just like in my day-to-day -day in general. The top left arrow suggests how I process information, how I learn best as well, how I learn best, how I process information and how I, you know, basically take in food, digest my food. So it's, I'm very like flowy. And then I'm just going to tie it in real quick to like how I best learn. And it's just all making sense for me now that 
I'm just meant to just um, kind of just like be very receptive. I kind of take a wide view approach of, at things and I go by like what feels right. I'm more in the flow. And honestly, when I'm kind of living my life that way, it just it, that's honestly just like what feels most natural to me. And when I think about how I best process information, the left top arrow minus facing right. So what it suggests is that I have a passive brain, which means the way that I take in information is just, I absorb it better. And it's just, just like, I mean, I can just take in large amounts of information. Um, for example, I could be listening to just like content. It could be a podcast. It could be YouTube. It could be an audiobook. And I could be washing the dishes. I could be maybe cleaning around my place. I could be driving in a car. And that's honestly what I do on a on a day-to-day -day basis. Usually I'm listening to at least some form of content throughout my day. Um, and it's never in like this sit down environment where I have to be sitting down at a desk um, with a uh, dry erase board or like with the, I don't know, my laptop screen in a quiet boxed in room and then learning that way. Because I do know people that learn best that way. And of course, granted, if I'm in a classroom, I'm subjected to learn that way. Like I, you know, I'm sitting in a classroom and I, or there's like, you know, um, just like a setting where maybe it's like orientation and we learn best that, you know, I don't say we learn best that way. We, it's like, we, um, we have no choice but to sit in those types of environments if we are you know if it's required for us to be in those environments but honestly like if they're giving me modules to watch for like orientation I just plug it in my ears like I plug in my airpods and I'll be doing stuff around the house and I'm just like listening to stuff as I go so in order basically for me to function just most optimally in my bodily functions for the arrows on the left side um, especially, you know, when I'm speaking about the top left arrow today, I'm just not meant to be <laughs> super rigid, super, super structured. I just, it, it's just the complete opposite. So I was like beating myself up about it and, um, and just like, almost like feeling like, why can't I ever, you know, keep a schedule or stay super structured and it's because I'm not meant to and even the way like my ideas come to me I still like I have my ideas journal like they literally come at random I was like doing the back part <laughs> but my ideas are like more in the front front part anyway can't really see the pages but even when my ideas come to me they're like super random even when I was like deciding to make this video I literally came home from my first day of orientation and I was like, I feel like making a video. It's, and it just like felt good to me in this moment because I, there, there was even one point, you know, a few weeks ago where I was pondering, okay, I need to, you know, make a YouTube video. I think I even said in one of my previous videos, I need to make a video every day for, you know, Monday through Friday. And I think I, I don't know if I did that for a little bit. I think I was doing that on my TikTok. I was doing that on my TikTok for like making a video every day. And I noticed for me personally, it just, it like, it feels like I'm forcing it. It feels like I'm efforting as opposed to when it just comes to me and I feel good and then I create it. It's more effortless. It just flows. So I just want to like, talk about that today and I wanted to encourage you to, you know, find out what your human design is. You know, some people may be living out of alignment if you feel like you're really efforting or you feel like it's so hard to do certain things that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. You may want to check out your variables. Maybe you are you know, meant to be somebody that is, if it's facing to the left, so mine is facing to the right. So if yours is facing to the left, 
that means human design suggests that you are meant to be very structured. You are meant to be very like super organized, very linear in the way that you do things. The way that you best learn is maybe you're sitting down at a desk, you have like your notes, you have your laptop, you have like, I don't know, like a very organized environment. You have to um, just be like super laser focused. You cannot be doing anything else. And that's how you learn best. And you know, um, the way that you best maybe take in food optimally for your body, the way that you best digest food is like, you are, you know, the left top arrow would suggest that you are supposed to eat more on like a regular consistent basis. Um, it's not meant to be for you like more flowy. It's like you're maybe you do best when you're eating around the same times every day and you can do very well with meal prep. You can eat like the same thing for several days straight. And it's like, it's a way that makes you feel like you're at your peak, like it's optimized for you. So I just, yeah, I just wanted to share that today because I was like, honestly beating myself up about just like not following the super structure, rigid routine when actually I do best when I'm just like in the flow, I'm creating what I want to create. And of course, I, you know, I still, the thing about it is for my human design, it's, it's, I'm still creating content. I don't want to say for my human design, I'm still creating content regularly. I just don't have this very structured, strategic approach if that makes sense and that's okay and that feels good to me and it just flows better that way I feel like I'm not forcing anything I come on here and I'm excited I'm like oh what am I going to talk about today or I just like flip to my my little ideas notebook so I hope that was helpful I hope it was useful let me know what your variables are or especially like I guess we're talking about the top left arrow like what is your top left arrow face does it face to the left which means maybe you're somebody that's more strategic, you're more linear, um, you have more of a structure in your day-to-day, -day, um, or are you to the right? You're like more receptive, you're more like wide-eyed viewed approach, you're very flowy, it's non-linear, it's based on like how you feel. So what is your suggest and like, what do you do like on your day-to-day? -day? What does that look like for you? Like with how you learn, how you eat, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. I hope this was helpful. I hope it was useful. If you're curious and learning more about yourself, understanding yourself better, I'm trying to learn more about where your gifts lie, how you, you know, how you are kind of just like how you best move throughout the world, how you move your energy, how people receive your energy and what is most optimal for you. Um, I encourage you to book a human design reading with me. The details are in the description, or you can go to calendly.com um, forward slash destiny data. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.